Um, I'm Connie, as Birdie has kindly introduced, and I've gone through the egg freezing process twice in the, over, the, over the past year, and I'm here to uh, share my experiences with you, as well as stories that other women have uh, told me along the way. So uh, let's start with why someone would do this. And at its core, it's because you might want to be a mom someday. But the time isn't right for you, financial reasons, career, finding the right partner, whatever. That's all, that's all OK. But you want this to be uh, an option for you. And so I uh, was 31 when I first heard about this and started considering it. So I looked at, uh, looked at my timeline. Let's say like it takes one year to enter a relationship and then uh, one year to get engaged, and then uh, one year to get married, and uh, then um, one year to uh, have, have a baby. And I forget my little, oh, oh, oh no, I'm, I'm on time. So 30, suddenly I'm 35, and that's uh, advanced maternal age, which is a terrifying uh, phrase that you hear from doctors. And it just means, uh, it's not an instant switch, but it does mean this is when your egg quality begins to decline. Um, and, uh, okay, more science. Uh, you're born with two million eggs and only goes down from there. You have, uh, at age 30, 10% of those eggs left, and at age 40, 3% of those left, and 80% of those are gonna be um, abnormal, so that's a sad number. And <laughs> doctors <laughs> recommend you get 20 frozen eggs for each live birth that you want to, uh, to go for. At age 30, a cycle will net you 15 to 20 eggs. At age 35 plus, maybe four to six. So it's gonna be better for you to uh, do this when you're younger if you're gonna do it at all. Another downside is that it's not cheap. It process, a cycle costs about ten to fifteen thousand um, dollars. But you can look at it as an investment in your own DNA. You can't replicate that. You can't get there anywhere else. And uh, what is the price for your uh, peace of mind? It's also not a not a guarantee. Let's say you get ten eggs out of your cycle, and uh, seven of those become frozen, and then uh, five of those survive the thaw, and then three of those get fertilized, and you hope two of the ones that get implanted, one of them sticks. So the chances are one egg leads to about a life. Birth. But what everyone can do is actually get screened. So uh, you should uh, you can find all sorts of fun things. Like I have low follicle count, I have high follicle count, or my favorite, I have two uteruses. Um, all the mysteries that might light inside of you. You never know. Um, so here's how it works. Uh, eggs, uh, your eggs live in follicles that are inside your ovaries. And uh, each month, uh, your ovaries mature one follicle and then releases the egg. And this is uh, well, what's commonly known as a menstrual cycle. But during the egg freezing uh, cycle, what you want to do is mature as many eggs as possible so you can uh, freeze and extract them uh, all at once. And you do this through a concoction of uh, medications, injections, and hormones, which uh, stimulate your body to, uh, to do those things. So what is this actually? Uh, how do you actually feel during this process? So typically your ovary are the, <laughs> ovaries are the size of walnuts. During this, they get to be the size of apples. So that's, that's a lot. Um, you feel bloated, <laughs> you, feel, uh, you feel heavy, you can't exercise, you might want to take a few days off, um, and that's all, uh, that's all okay. In fact, I've actually heard it being described as it's kind of like getting all of your periods at one time. <laughs> so this, <laughs> but this is highly variable depending on the individual. Some people barely feel it, some people feel awful for two weeks, but then still, it's over. Uh, the most uh, common question I get asked about is needles. Everyone's afraid of needles, um, but it's actually, it's not that bad. Um, the process for needles, it's actually only two weeks long. There are more needles than I actually thought there would be. There were 38 total, went back and counted that I had to do uh, per cycle, um, but it's, it's okay. Uh, these uh, are examples of uh, places you can go get um, that people have reported actually injecting themselves. So from like live conference calls to <laughs> bathrooms to in the bar, that was me actually. Um, it's just part of your life. You get used to it and you can deal. I've gotten asked this question a lot. Does it actually make you feel like a failure? Uh, uh, no. Uh, I feel actually it's really awesome that you can have this opportunity to actually freeze part of you and save it for later. What, what a world we live in, guys. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, the procedure itself is actually pretty straightforward. It's 20 minutes. I love this quote about it. Um, the extraction itself felt kind of like a namaste way to black the fuck out. Because honestly, it's taken a long time to get to this process. It's hard both mentally and physically, and you deserve a break for doing something really good for yourself. So for me, I got 14 eggs out of my uh, first cycle, and I uh, like followed blackjack rules and uh, always hit if you're less than 17. So I did another cycle, and I wound up with uh, 32 frozen eggs total. 
And as we reviewed from the math earlier, that nets you with 1.5 kids, which are you know, sitting in a freezer somewhere waiting for me to, uh, to be ready for it. And uh, that makes me feel okay. And I've really enjoyed sharing about this process to anybody who's asked and um, really enjoy hearing other people's stories as well. Um, this is my favorite quote, and I'll leave you with this on uh, why this was a good thing to do. I want to own my reproductive future independent of my uh, romantic and financial future. And I think it's, uh, it's a really great way to uh, feel good about yourself. And this is something you can take ownership of. So thanks. Thank